Happy Sunday afternoon, modeling community. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, me kind of going over this uh, Pro Street group build idea that I have. Um, doing the Shelby, uh, 1967 Mustang Shelby. There's the body. Um, body comes with this little panel on the back that I've cut out early this morning. Um, just to have some fun and see if I might consider hinging the trunk lid. Um, didn't know this model came with that idea, but um, that's pretty cool. Incidentally, I opened the kit this morning. I started digging around, and AMT apparently really thinks that I can't follow instructions, so they included three of them. Uh, I, I've never had that happen before, so that's kind of comical, but anybody needs an extra set of instructions for this kit, they're more than welcome to contact me. Um, but, um, one of the first things that I like to do when I'm considering doing a pro street, um, especially when I'm off the beaten path, so to speak, and the instructions really don't matter is I, I like to draw out my frame and how the body looks. So um, what you'll see on either side, here's the body line. And then I do a straight line back here and then I'll do the rear wheel center and the front wheel center. And then I'll measure that out. In this situation, center to center is four and a half inches. Here's the back of the car, front of the car. And the reason I do this is because I always wanna have an option to actually build the frame if I want to, if I want to completely scratch build the frame. In this situation, that's not an option because when I like what I like to do with pro streets is I like to keep the the interior intact. I don't like to mess with the interior. I think it's really cool to have the original interior. To me, that's what a pro street really is. Um, it's just personal preference. But um, here's the frame. Um, so there's. Plenty of options on this frame and I'm looking at this frame and I'm thinking that man if I could cut it right here that would be perfect that's the step up for the for the rear seat um, that could cause some problems um, but to me that's a natural spot to cut so when you do pro street um, the first thought is, is where am I going to get the tubs from? So there's three options that most people use. The first option, this is the back half of the 66 AMT 66 Nova. A lot of people go to this kit. Um, I don't typically go to this kit. I use it in rare occasions. Um, the reason that is, is it, it has a leaf spring rear end and I find that my flexibility with lowering the car gets taken away with that. Um, it's just, it's not hard to do. It's just, there's no room in here. Um, the rear end literally sits almost right on these bars right here. So you can't get it much lower. Um, you could probably put some blocks in between the leaf spring and the actual axle and borrow a little bit of room, but you're only going to get about an eighth of an inch. Um, so to me, that option's out. Um, the other option I have is I have two frames I can pull from. I have the Chevelle, the AMT 67 Pro Streeted Chevelle, or the AMT um, 70 Super B, and that's what this frame is from, the 70 Super B, this Cornette. Um, this is an interesting option, but I like to save these for fuller cars. Um, this kit is getting harder and harder to come by, so I like to save these for um, cars like a, you know, like a Galaxy or, um, you know, just your fuller size cars, the the Mustang um, is a little too small. The thing you have to deal with on the Mustang is, is it's it's narrow, 
and it's short back here. So uh, I personally want to go with the Chevelle because um, I think for me, um, it just, it makes, I can see what I want to do with this. It doesn't make it right or wrong. It just makes it good for me. So um, I can see quite clearly on where I want to cut. You see, I've made some lines here on cutting ideas. The original thought was I was going to cut it right across here. But when you match that up with the frame, see this is where you're going to have to cut right there. So I like, um, I, I didn't like where that line was coming in at. See if you look at that, that line would come right across here. Yeah, it might be an option. The Chevelle has these insets in the frame right here, which creates this step up on the back. And a lot of people cut right across here. And I might do that initially, just to get a feel for where this is. Um, I'm gonna have to cut this off in the back, and I'm gonna have to narrow these wheel tubs just a little bit to get it to fit in the body. Um, if you go and look at this, I like to do this too, and just, just kind of get a feel for where we're at. So right here, if you line up the wheel tubs, see how much shorter that Mustang frame is. So I'll have to cut a good half inch off of here. And then what I'll have to do is I, that'll have an unfinished look. So what I might have to do is just sand all this ribbing off and I'm gonna have this and this. I might have to sand that off. Um, and then I'm gonna take a piece of stock and go across here so that it has that finished look. But that's what I'm thinking. I think that's gonna be center. So I think it cut right there. see that but right there is where we're gonna cut probably so you can see that I borrowed more than I need because it's easier to whack off more than cut too short so that's just my me thinking through this in my initial thoughts on this and a lot of guys will sit there and say well, you know they try to get this rear end lower um, it comes with these mounting points for the rear end. So what I like to do is I like to whittle these points down a little bit so I can get the frame lower. And then I'll also, one of the things you have to remember, if you take these down, you have to take these down because these are where your willy bars sit. So just my initial thoughts on this and what I want to do in, uh, let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment, thumbs thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, and let me let me hear what you think. But I think that's that's it for today. And uh, I'm gonna work on this. And I'm gonna get the old saw out and start cutting. So everybody have a good Sunday. Thanks for watching my my <laughs> dribble about my models. And uh, everybody uh, take care today and uh, have a good day. This is Terry. I'm out.